Is it all, all the way open now? Yeah. All right. Do you want like me to go from open to closed? We can do yeah. both. We'll do That's open perfect. to closed or closed to open. We can do both. We can do both, yeah. All right. So we ready? Yeah. Okay. Super. Ready. All right. Now we'll, do, now we'll do it open. That's it. All the that way looked open. amazing. Yeah. That was a really good idea. Okay, so here, now is another idea. The picture didn't come out of nowhere and it didn't just happen, you know, without any kind of previous um, idea. So I was in Yosemite teaching a workshop with Imogene Cunningham and Twinka was one of the models. As a demonstration for the class, um, I decided I should show people how I might set up a photograph and I should show them how I used my 4x5. The, the image in a Twink photograph actually was sort of in a long line of other photographs that I had done prior to that one, and they were based on the idea of a clothed person looking at a nude person. So the idea for the photograph um, came from a painting by Thomas Hart Benton called Persephone. It was in a book my parents had on um, American painting. So it's really about voyeurism. And that idea of voyeurism, uh, I think, um, is pretty significant in regard to being a photographer because, you know, you're looking at somebody, they usually know that they're being looked at. At least when I'm photographing people, they know they're being photographed. But still, it's the person being looked at by someone else. So I set up a lot of different photographs. Um, before the image in Twinka with this very same idea in it, where there'd be a nude person being looked at by a, a clothed person. I even have one where there's a dog looking in a doorway at a nude woman, and it was very spontaneous. I'm glad I took this picture, and I, I think it's obviously, it touches a chord in people because otherwise it wouldn't be so popular, but um, I feel like I've done plenty of other pictures that are worthy of consideration and that this one sometimes gets in the way of that. But um, it's, gotten, it's gotten me a lot of attention and it's probably a good thing that it's my picture. <laughs> I mean, I like it obviously, but I like, a, I like a lot of my other ones just as well, if not better. Somebody said, and it was probably Dorothea Lang, I think it was Dorothy Lang, said about her famous migrant mother photograph. The way she described it is has a life of its own, and I guess that's how I feel about this picture. It has a life of its own. <laughs> it's just out there in the world, and there it is. It's like Ansel Adams' Moonrise or something. You know, various photographers have taken a, a, a you know kind of a signature image, and people get a, they associate the photographer with that image and there's really nothing you can do about it I mean there's nothing I can do about that it's just the way it is so anyway I feel like you have to tell people what to do because mostly they're uncomfortable and they don't know what to do so you've got to tell them what to do so I try to tell them something that will get something happening if I'm doing a portrait like here in the studio I would have somebody sit here or stand or whatever and um, I would say, well, turn a little bit this way, or turn a little bit that way, or, you know, look right in the camera, or um, do something with your hands, you know, put your hand up here. There's definitely direction. It's not just go stand there and do something. The black and white photography, for me, it just seems very, um, very graphic and um, maybe a little more subtle than color. And it, it takes things one step, removes them one step away from reality. Uh, I, I know the materials so well with black and white, both the, the, the film and the properties of the film and also what I can do with it in terms of making prints that, um, that I can predict my results pretty well with the black and white. And, and I, I like the mystery of it. 
I'm not, I mean, the, the photography is completely personal, though I'm not unaware that I have an audience. And I always would like to please them, but I can't let that come first. I mean, I can't, I can't let the fact that I have an audience dictate what I'm going to do in my photography. I have to make myself happy first, and then I hope that some of it will make them happy.